Hey there. Labbing for the NSC4 exam can be simple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get fully featured FortiGate virtual machines that you can use to lab for yourself. Now, these are the same VMs that I used to prepare for and pass the NSC4 exam. But first, a little bit about me. My name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. I decided to make these videos because I know exactly how hard it is to get into the industry. If you're here to learn, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out every time I upload videos like this one. Last thing, let me know in the comments what you think of this video, the topic in it, and other topics that you want to learn about. All right, so let's start off. Head to support.fortinet.com and either create an account for the first time, hit that blue button up there that says register. You'll give them an email address. They'll email you a link. Uh, you follow that link to then set up your account. Uh, or if you already got your account set up, just go straight to login. And then once you're logged in, head to this download and VM images. And then once you're at the VM images, there's uh, not too much that you can select from here. Obviously, you've got your choice of product here, 40 Analyzer, 40 Gate, 40 Manager. Since the NSE4 focuses on the 40 Gate, forget about the Analyzer and Manager for now. That's NSE5 topics. So once again, uh, make sure you have 40 Gate selected. Select uh, VMware ESXi if you're using a VMware product like VMware Workstation. The only There's really only two things here I want to point out. Um, make sure that you select the correct version of code that matches the exam that you're studying for. Uh, and then the other thing is uh, you want the new deployment. You don't want the upgrade download. So when you're here, make sure you're using the second option here and download it. Uh, and then make sure that you're, you're using code that matches the version of the exam that you're studying for. Once you have your, your VM trials though, you should be aware there are some limitations around that. One, you're limited to 15 days. Uh, after that time, you can you can dump your, your config uh, and spin up a new VM and import your config and pick up right where you left off. The other thing is, is you're limited on resource usage. You can only use one virtual CPU. You're limited to one gig of RAM and you have no HTTP access. In addition to that, you don't get any of the 40 guard features, which is your, your AV, your web filtering definitions, your IPS signatures, et cetera. But for a lab, you don't need that. Um, the only thing that could trip you up is in the NSC4 study material, there's a, there's a one tiny section on upgrading firmware and downgrading firmware. You can't do that in a trial VM, but it's really, it's not a big deal. It's literally three or four steps for each part of that. And the odds of it also landing on the exam, pretty small, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. After this, really, it's uh, your next steps. If, if you're new to labbing, you're gonna have to figure out if your PC can support a lab environment, which a lot of modern PCs should be just fine. If not, I'll put a link in the description so that you can do a little bit of research on your own and figure it out. And then after that, it's just selecting a hypervisor. And if you don't know what a hypervisor is, Google that, it's pretty straightforward. You'll get it in, a, in just a, a quick second. Um, the only thing that you really have to decide on is do you wanna pay money to use VMware Workstation, which has uh, fantastic product and great support, or do you want to use Oracle VirtualBox? I've used both. I like both. I went with Workstation simply because that's what my coworkers, uh, where I work now, that's what they use. So if I run into any problems, I can bounce things off from them to find solutions. I sincerely hope that this video helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know. Again, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career.